Okay, I'm going to tell you a story that we've heard from various healthcare professionals, GPs, nurses and healthcare assistants. And it's about feeling overloaded by information, having very little time to take anything in, very little time to do learning, um, and how because of this they feel they can only concentrate on the essential learning and the essential information and the problems that might cause them. So we have a GP, uh, Douglas, who works at West Hill Medical Practice. He's not in the diabetic clinic. He does general GP consulting duties and he does work in the asthma clinic. Um, but he'd like to stay informed on everything. However, he gets a lot of emails sent to him um, and he feels flooded by emails. Uh, he says that about 90% of the emails he receives are useless, they're just clogging up his inbox and um, he, he doesn't want all of those. Sometimes he finds some emails that are interesting and he'd like to follow up but he never gets around to it. And the example we have is that the lead of the diabetic clinic sent out an email to everyone with an update on diabetes. And Douglas thought, well that's interesting, I would like to know about that. It's not my specialism, but I'd like to know. So he put it to one side and he thought, I'll read it later. But actually later never happened, because Douglas is under pressure all the time. He has 10 minute consultations with patients and in those 10 minutes he's got to diagnose their problems, he's got to find the right treatment, he's got to update the patient record system, refer them on to people and while he's doing this he knows he's got five or six other patients waiting outside, he knows he's running behind time. So actually finding time to read emails is, is a luxury he doesn't really have. Um, and with this diabetes update email he never gets around to reading it. Now, a few weeks later, a diabetes patient turns up in his consulting room and they've come, their problem isn't related to diabetes, but he's listening to them and he thinks, I don't feel I can thoroughly understand this problem because I think it's not connected to diabetes, but what if it is? What if it is and I haven't understood it properly? So he tells the patient to read book and go and talk to the GP in the diabetic clinic. But this leaves Douglas feeling frustrated. He feels like he, he, he'd love to be, doctors love being the cleverest person in the room, and that's not how he feels now. What he'd really like is some way of staying informed on everything, but some way of getting that information very quickly and very engagingly, so he doesn't have to spend lots of time reading through emails. And he'd also like, he knows he can't have that in a way that puts extra demands on the time of the people producing the information. So maybe he's asking for the impossible.